hi hi folks, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. My name's Sean aka Uncle Frogface and welcome to today's video. If you're new here then welcome, if you're not new then welcome back. It is Tuesday, that means it's art day on the new schedule and we are returning to Scrawlerbox. So, I'm going to turn the camera around and get stuck in because I can't even remember what's in this one. So I'm going to have to have a little bit of a refresh first and then come to it. It's been very, very busy. Just so you know, it's currently Sunday morning. It's a gorgeous day outside. Uh, I've actually got to go out and do a choir performance soon. So I'm trying to get some of this done now and I'll probably finish it later. Uh, but it's so early. I've actually got a coffee this morning instead of a cup of tea. So I've got my lovely candle burning. Um, so the room is smelling gorgeous. But um, I'm going to quickly drink this coffee and then then let's dive into the school box and refresh ourselves on what we've got and think of an idea of what we're going to do for this month. Here we are. Let's have a little reminder. It's like doing an unboxing again. So a little reminder of what we've got inside. Oh yes, I remember. So we've got the, the watercolour pencils, haven't we? Yes, the, the lovely Faber-Castell watercolour pencils. The frisk masking fluid and the brush, um, and of course frisk paper. Yes, metamorphosis, right. So, I did have an idea for this uh, initially, and I think I'm gonna have to go for it. So um, I actually, I'm oh, drinking a bit more coffee. Mm. Wake up the old gray brain cells. Um, yes, right, I did have an idea I think I'm going to go for it. It was partly inspired by this, but I don't want to go as obvious as just a butterfly. And I think for the first time, I'm going to, after my discussion, I'm just giving this a bit of a shake, after my discussion with Scrawlerbox um, and their take on the featured artwork and how, you know, it, it's inspired by the art materials, but can use something different, I... I think I am actually going to use an additional supply. So, I fairly often use a pencil if there's not one in the box, and there isn't one in here, so I'm gonna do that today. I think I'm also gonna use a black pen, because the idea that I've got requires some line work as well. Um, so I'm not gonna use anything fancy or special, it's literally just gonna be a black pen. It might even be a ballpoint pen if I can find one. Um, otherwise, it'll be like a fine liner or something. But I'm going to take this in a slightly more uh, pop culture direction, I think. Um, so, my idea is to do, well, we've got metamorphosis. What is metamorphosis if not the small evolutions of an animal in its life cycle? Yes, evolutions. I think I'm going to do a Pokemon evolution. Um, so... I'm thinking, inspired by this, we might do Caterpie to Metapod to Butterfree. Proper Gen 1, showing my age here, but um, that's the Pokemon that I grew up with. So I think that's what we're going to do today. I decided whether I'm going to do them all on one piece of artwork or three separate ones. I might do them as three separate ones, you know. Yeah, why not? Let, let's do three separate pieces. So... Got the masking fluid as well. What can I do with that? Ah, I have an idea. I actually do have an idea. Right, okay, that's fine. Let me get set up and I am going to sketch out at least, whilst I've got time, my Pokemon. And uh, and then we'll see how we go from there for time. Um, I may have to come back to this later today or tomorrow morning and, and finish it up, but um, I'll get done as much as I can right now. Wish me luck. Okay, so as always, any piece of artwork starts with a sketch. So I've got my scrawler box black wing pencil. Doesn't have to be a black wing pencil, it's just what I have to hand. Obviously, it's scrawler box. And I'm just very quickly mocking out these Pokemon. It's been a very long time since I've drawn Pokemon, so I do have some 
some reference images up. I literally just typed in <laughs> Caterpie and Metapod there and Butterfree on Pinterest and it just came up with hundreds of images and I just kind of collated what I was seeing there into some rough sketches. So doing very loose sketches. Good thing about Pokemons, they're mainly just made of balls and tubes which are, uh, make them a little bit easier to draw. Um, but yeah, once I've got everything nicely fleshed in, we have all of our sketches. So they are now complete and we're ready to move on to some color. So I'm just gonna show you the process for Caterpie in today's video. Uh, we, I will be doing all three pieces, but in terms of the video, it's the same thing uh, for this one piece, just over three pieces. So I've laid in all the yellow first and putting down a very light touch of orange over that yellow just to give it a bit of a warmer feel because the yellow is quite bright uh, and then colouring in that, that little horn at the front of the head as well in orange and then this for me is one of the one of the most fun pieces of using watercolour pencils it's when you can introduce the water and you get a really nice complete look to the colour you know you can't see any of the paper texture through it you're just getting nice solid colour so once I've let the yellow and the orange dry briefly, because watercolour pencils do dry fairly quickly if you're sparing with the water, I'm going to come in with the green and do exactly the same as I did for the yellow and the orange. Uh, the only difference here is once these ones are a little bit dry, I'm going to come in and layer on top of them. Um, so again, the, the green in this isn't really the green that I'm looking for. I, I want something a little bit more yellow, really. So I'll come in and use a little bit of yellow in there as well. The gray has been fantastic for shadows. So I know I'm gonna be coming in with some ink work, but I still want to define these darker areas. And then just as a very light wash on top of the other colors, it's a really, really nice shadow wash car. So I'm very, very pleased with that indeed. Um, and I feel like this gives the, the whole Pokemon a little bit more of a three-dimensional look as well, rather than just being a flat picture um, and yeah the, the grey root and again using that technique that we did in the unboxing of just lifting the pigment straight off of the pencil itself rather than drawing with it and then wetting it or putting it in a, a palette or anything like that so it's only very small details so lifting it up this way works really really nicely. Coming in with the, the yellow now, as I said, I want to kind of just change the hue of this colour a little bit. It's a little, the green's a little bit too blue, honestly, I think, for Caterpie. Um, and just doing exactly the same as we did laying down the initial colours, lay it down with a little bit of pencil, come in, add some water, and kind of marry it all together. And then I want to add some proper rim lighting. So I'm just going in with the pencil, I'm not going to wet this at all. I'm just going in and laying some colour around the edge. So that is the colours done for Caterpie and I had to think about how to use this frisk masking fluid. So you'll all remember if you watch Pokemon every ad break there was the who's that Pokemon and I wanted to try and simulate the background that came in, in those sections uh, just with the blue. So I had a blue section and an orange section just with the blue and I thought the masking fluid would be the perfect option for this so laying a bead around the edge of the Pokemon and then coming out and just kind of streaking out with the needle point and that's also giving a little bit more latex as well I will say latex smells it does smell when you're using it so open a window if you need to make sure it's well ventilated that's all done Several hours later, after going into Chester and singing with my choir on a very lovely warm day, it was actually a gorgeous day, really, really fun. Um, I'm, I wanna use this blue, but as you can see, I just sharpened some into this palette and I've taken the, the wood section out. And then once you add some water, you kind of get this slurry, basically just a, a wet paint. And I did this because I, the blue for me is not hugely pigmented. Um, it's quite a weak pigment in the blue, so I wanted to make sure I was getting as much down as I could. And I'm just going around the edge, trying to follow the direction of those streaks. And once that's tr a little bit drier, uh, I'm coming in just with the pencil as well, just to reinforce some of those streaks that we've got in there. 
and really push that who's the Pokemon look. Well, once that's dry, it's, uh, it's the fun part of latex, which is peeling it all off again. So I was a little bit forceful. I should have taken a little bit more time. I did have a little bit of tearing. It's probably because I was pulling it like this rather than gently rubbing it or using an eraser to, to get it up. But there we go, that is our background done. And the very last thing to do on this is the inking, which is my optional step. So I will leave you here and leave you with my final thoughts. Okay, right, so inking is done, everything's finished. This is the finished Caterpie. Um, I really enjoyed this and actually I think the pen brings something to it that might have been lost if there wasn't the pen there. So happy I made that decision. But of course, this prompt is metamorphosis. So you've seen me do this for the Caterpie. Let's see now we have Metapod done in the same way. There we go. And also we have Butterfree. So we've got all three evolutions full metamorphosis from Caterpie to Metapod to Butterfree. The only thing that was a little bit difficult on this was trying to get a skin colour for Caterpie because obviously they're my, more of a purpley colour which was quite hard to do with this set. But I like this blend of, you know, like watercolour and inking. I, I think it, it works quite nicely. I'm actually very pleased with this. I'd love to know what you guys think of this as well. I, I haven't drawn Pokemon for honestly more than 10 years. Uh, <laughs> this is like really nostalgic for me, so I really enjoyed this trip down memory lane. I might do some more in the future. If there's any Pokemon that you want me to draw or paint, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I think this has fulfilled the metamorphosis brief. I do really like these watercolour pencils. They're just gonna go along with all of my other watercolour pencils. As always, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video, and until next time, goodbye.